Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Police Quest 2. Now we just found out there was a murder down at the warehouse district. So let's go ahead and uh, go there now. Okay, it's unlocked. Keith yells, wait up Sonny, what's the rush anyway? Well there was a murder down at the warehouse district, weren't you paying attention? Keith pipes up, let's go rouse some bag ladies, eh, Sonny? Keith grabs the mic and calls dispatch. Dispatch 53 Mary 2 is 10-8 from the office. Dispatch comes on the air and responds. 53 Mary 2, 10-4. Dispatch copies 10-8 from the office. Keith keys the mic. Dispatch 53 Mary 2, be advised we are en route to 160 West Rose. Dispatch answers. 53 Mary 2, 10 4. We copy your en route to 160 West Rose. Boy, Keith comments. After yesterday, I was hoping for a slow day. Because Jesse Baines on the run is usually an indicator you're going to have a slow day, right, Keith? Keith contacts dispatch. Dispatch 53 Mary 2, 1097, 160 West Rose. Dispatch responds. 53 Mary 2, 10 4. Dispatch copies 1097, 160 West Rose. In his heavy Italian accent, Officer Gillespie says, Well, it's about the time, Sonny. I founded this car with the blood dripping from the trunk, he says. Continuing, he says, The door was unlocked with the keys in a side. You listen intently as he explains. I took the keys and opened the trunk. That's when I found the man with the hole in his head. Continuing, this car is a register to Woody Roberts. Gillespie finishes. I called it the coroner. Now you can take over this mess, sonny. Ugh, grunts Keith as he walks past the body. I'll search the car, sonny. You can examine the trunk. Besides, uh, there's a cigarette lighter over here. You take your field kit from the trunk. So yeah, now Sonny is a homicide detective taking over for the poor traffic cop. Just like uh, back when we were a traffic cop back in Police Quest 1. There is a dead person in the trunk. <gasps> oh, I thought he was just sleeping. You take pictures of the murder scene and, turn, and return the camera to the kit. You use an eyedropper to draw up some of the victim's blood. You return the eyedropper to the kit and add the vial of blood to your inventory of evidence. Now let's get a look at this guy. The murdered man looks familiar, but you can't place his face. Wait, you think? I know him. That's Woody Roberts. Of course, if you've only uh, seen Police Quest 1 VGA, they replaced this character with a female. So, uh, if you're confused, this, this Woody Roberts is the... He was the bartender at the Hotel Del Foria who helped people get into Jesse Bain's illegal gambling ring. So, since this Police Quest 2 was made after Police Quest 1 VGA, it still has uh, Woody Roberts. I'm not sure if they plan to remake this with the female version of this guy. Anyway, let's continue our investigation. Suddenly it all comes back. He testified at Bain's trial last year. Searching thoroughly, you find a corner of an envelope clutched in the victim's left hand. You pry the stiff fingers loose and take the corner of an envelope. The coroner is arriving, Sonny, Keith informs you. Pretty gruesome, eh, Sonny? groans Mario. How one person can do that to another is really, you know, uh, sick. It sure is. Where is this body? asked the coroner. I don't see nobody. Ha 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 ha. Let me guess, the trunk. 
Of course, where else would it be? Yes, sir, Bob, remarks the coroner. Definitely looks like an execution. Well, get it out of here, dude. I'll take care of the body now, Bonds, says the coroner. Would you help me, Officer Gillespie? asks the coroner. Sonny looks a little weak, and this fella is pretty heavy. He's on a diet now, though. Ha 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 ha. Diet. Because <laughs> he's dead. Oh, wacky coroner. Officer Gillespie and the coroner struggle to carry the victim into the back of the coroner's vehicle. Bye, Sonny. I gotta dig up a date for tonight. Ha 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 ha. The cheerful coroner yells over his shoulder. Wow, did he just make a joke about necrophilia? Yikes. Let's take another look in here. You find a note which had been hidden by the body. <gasps> no kidding. The note you found beneath Woody's body. On it is written, You're a dead man, Sonny Bonds. <gasps> that doesn't sound pleasant. Not at all. Did you find something, Sonny? Mario asks. Yes. That's a great, Mario beams. I hope it helps catch the murderer. Yep, I'm sure it will. Oops. You place your field kit inside the trunk. Keith yells, Wait up, Sonny! Don't leave me here! Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Look at the corner of the envelope. Corner of an envelope with name and address. Bill Cole, 753 3rd Street, Lighton City. And I happen to know that address goes to a motel. So I'm just going to type in drive to motel. I'll advise dispatch, Keith says, grabbing the mic. Dispatch, 53 Mary 2, we're responding to 753 3rd Street for follow-up. Dispatch responds. Ted 4, 53 Mary 2, rolling to 753 3rd Street for 187 follow-up. I think we may be getting somewhere, partner, Keith says. We better watch our butts when we get there. I hope this lead isn't a dead end. I sure do. Keith contacts dispatch. Dispatch 53 Mary 2, 1097, 753 3rd Street. Dispatch responds. 53 Mary 2, 104. Dispatch copies 1097, 753 3rd Street. Oh, let's see, this is a good place to save. At the motel. Now, I was messing around earlier. I found something really funny. The man at the window says, uh, Yes, sir, what can I do for you? I'd like a room for me and my date, please. Scanning his guest book, he nods his head and says, Ah, uh, yes, here we are. William Cole, room 108. <laughs> eh, see? That's kind of funny. Like the thing with Lloyd Pratt asking him for drugs. But here's the way you're supposed to do it. Yes, officer, how can I help you? Well, the manager says, the photograph is vaguely familiar. I believe his name was William Cole. He has room 108. Aha, you think to yourself. Baines is using the name Cole. Yeah, that's the way you're supposed to do it. And then you would get the points for that instead. But I wanted to do it the fun way. All right, give me a key to that room, please. I don't care if you're the Queen of England, he blurts out. I have an obligation to my customers, and I know the law, and there ain't nobody getting any key. All right. Fine then. We'll just go home. 
Keith yells, Gee, sonny, hold on a second, will ya? Yep, yeah, we'll drive home in the next video. Later.